Hello everyone, welcome back to Ogo Power. I'm Ogo, and this is another episode of Hogwarts Legacy. And let's go for the next side mission. Poacher's Call. Although, wait. The Ashwinders have ceased pestering me. I suspect that's your doing. Thank you from me and Rosie both. We're just leaving for our honeymoon after we hmm. tell Mr. Hill of our recent marriage. Wish me luck. Um, just checking. Okay. Yeah. You're back. Nice wanna to see you again. I want to sell the stuff I don't need. Um. Oh. Okay. Which is not a lot. Thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you again. Um, now what? Let's go into the <clears throat> room of requirement. Identify everything. Mm. Moonstones. Um, bump up. So uh, let's check the gear first. But they are better. You are worse. You are worse. Okay, nothing here. I think, yeah. It's just the outfit. Ooh, decreased damage checking from goblins. Well, that's a, ooh. <laughs> nice, nice looky looky. Um, I want to sell stuff first. Sell stuff first. Sell stuff first, and then we'll go for the poacher's house call. For which I have to talk to Poppy. You're back. Poppy, nice Pop, to Poppy. see you again. So, uh, sell, 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 sell. Ah, just sell it. I'm at the beginning of 24. And I don't Thanks think for stopping by. I will to get this again. too soon. Uh, okay, we're here, we're here outside. Um, is there maybe... Ah, there's no one like around it, okay. Then Hogwarts... Um... Tower. Ah, mispressed. Oh. When I'm like here, I want to go over there. Like, in a fast way. <sighs> so I guess that's the closest I can get. I can use Labroom. And wait. Oh, good, you're safe. Yes, Miss Poppington. Oh, wait. Don't see these too often. There you are. You were in such a state when you left. The poachers got to my gran. Someone recognized me in Horntail Hall and they got to her. What do you mean? Is she all right? She's fine, thank goodness. But they were at her house, our house. They assumed I'd sent the egg there. She said they took the whole place apart looking for it, screaming that we cost them everything. 
I'm sorry, Poppy. I'm glad she's all right. I don't think either one of us could have anticipated that. I should have known. I underestimated the poachers. And now another creature's in danger. What do you mean? The poachers refused to leave empty-handed, so they took valuable journals that Gran had discovered when she was researching rare creatures. Uh. One of them contained theories about a secret hiding place of the Snidget, long thought to be extinct. Ooh. Exactly what kind of creature is a Snidget? It's a small bird with golden feathers. It's incredible. It has rotational wings that allow it to dart quickly in any direction. Mm. In fact, the golden snitch in Quidditch is based on the Snidget, which barbarically was actually used in the sport hundreds of years ago. Hmm. Why would Snidgets be valuable to poachers? Because they're they can make more money with Snidgets than they ever would have fighting dragons. The golden Snidget's feathers and eyes are incredibly valuable. That's why they're believed to be extinct. They were hunted out of existence by wizard kind. I always if the agreed. poachers found some now, I can't bear to think about the horrific way they'd be bred and killed for profit. Where exactly are these Snidgets allegedly hidden? Gran says the journals were a bit cryptic, which is good. Perhaps the poachers won't be clever enough to find the birds. From what she recalls, the journals only noted that the key to finding them lay in the moonlight. Gran thinks it can be narrowed down to a handful of locations. Hmm. I take it you aren't going to let the poachers anywhere near the Snidgets. Gran wants me to stay out of it. But I know she's devastated that poachers might go after the Snidgets, if they still exist. We had the element of surprise on our side when we saved that dragon. But the poachers will be watching for us now. Yeah, they will. Need allies. Others who hate the poachers enough to help us, who value creatures as much Merlin's as... Merlin's beard! You're a genius! The centaurs, they'd want the Snidgets protected at all costs. Sounds as if we need to go and talk to the centaurs. Mm -hmm. We'll need to be careful in how we approach them. Tensions with them are high. Still, I think they may be our only hope. Let me think on it. I'll let you know as soon as I have a plan. Okay, then let's go for that. The headmistress speaks. And um, I guess that's in the map. In the map chamber. Good. Welcome back. Let's talk Hello, to her. Professor. I have news. The goblins are looking for something. Another repository. They've built drills to help with their search. Oh, most troubling. Are these repositories like the broken container I found at Rookwood Castle? They are. I fear we have no time to lose. Have a look at the map. Hmm. Fortunately, the next trial is fairly nearby. It's Hogwarts. As you know, I was headmistress in my time. My portrait hangs in the headmaster's office. In fact, I witnessed Professor Black learn of your arrival. And I'll confess that I wondered about you. Wait, is hmm. the next trial in the headmaster's office? It is. I had hoped that when the time came, the occupant of that office would be of help to us. Unfortunately, this headmaster seems wildly unconcerned with anything but himself. You'll need to access the office while he's away. I understand. Very well. I'll find some way to get in. Good. I shall meet you in my portrait there. Until then. Okay. How will I gain access to the headmaster's office? Perhaps Professor Fig will know what to do. Um, I will 
I don't know if he is there, but I want to fast travel there just in case. Uh, and also I want to fast travel so that I kickstart the, the Polychoose plot. Okay. I think I know how and where to approach the centaurs about protecting the Snidgets. Meet me in the Forbidden Forest. I hope I... Professor Fig, the Keepers have shown me where the next trial is. Has something changed? Lodgok and I have learned that the goblins are searching for another repository, like the one we saw at Rookwood Castle. And I discovered that they're building massive drills to help in their search. Professor Fitzgerald seemed very concerned. I see. Ranrock clearly knows even more than we suspected. And, sir, there's something else. Lord Gok knew Miriam. He knew Miriam? They encountered each other at Rookwood Castle. She was doing research. That's where she found the container with the port key. He liked her so much that he let her leave with it, despite orders from Ranrock. I don't know what to say. She could win over almost anyone. I want to hear more of this. And, in fact, I'd like to speak with Lodgok directly. But we've no time now. Where is the next trial? Believe it or not, it's in the headmaster's office. Incredible. Very well, you'll need the password to get past the stone gargoyle. The headmaster's house elf will know it. I don't know the headmaster's house elf. Will he even speak to me? I imagine he's loyal to the headmaster. Mm -hmm. He is. So you'll need a disguise. I have just the thing, a Polyjuice Potion. You'll look and sound like Professor Black. Wait, doesn't Polyjuice Potion require a bit of the person you want to change into? And take ages to brew? It does. So how do you already have Polyjuice Potion to change into Professor Black? One never knows when such a thing may come in handy. Let's just say I felt the need to be prepared for anything after my fruitless trip to the Ministry on his behalf. Mm. Now... Time is of the essence. Drink up and I shall explain more. Okay. <laughs> How do you feel? Incredible. I won't forget that taste anytime soon. <clears throat> How do I sound? Convincing. I've taken the liberty of transfiguring your robes. As yeah. we discussed, you'll need the password from Scrope, who could be anywhere in the castle. You might look for Professor Kagawa. She's taken to badgering the poor elf about Quidditch in the hopes that he can convince Black to change his mind. Thus far, unsuccessfully. I see. But what if Professor Black sees me? Leave him to me. I shall tell him where to meet a liaison from the Ministry in Hogsmeade. That should give you plenty of time. Thank you, Professor. I suppose we'll meet again in the map chamber. It's rather strange to hear gratitude coming from Professor Black. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you there. I can imagine, yeah. Now to find the Headmaster's house elf. Him running looks very funny Professor, too. Professor, a moment of your time. Professor, I was hoping to catch you. I... Oh, I, um, places to be, Professor Sharp. Places to be. Of course, sir. Only, <clears throat> you'd asked me about a particular potion, and I... Well, I... I did? I did, yes. Well, spit it out, Sharp. I don't have all day. Probably best not to discuss it here, sir. <laughs> I assure you, Sharp, you may speak freely. Very well. I've brewed the cure for boils you wanted. I can drop it by your office when it's convenient. <laughs> of course, yes. No need for all the cloak and dagger. Simply have a student deliver it. A student. Very well, sir, if you insist. <laughs> I do. And thank you, Sharp. I just hope you've brewed enough for all my boils. Um. Now... To determine which student gets this rather... If you must speak with me, consult my secretaries or what have you. <laughs> now move along. Uh, Greek, thank you, but, but no.
funny how the bots uh, are the same yet different on the different with your mouth open. sides. Where are your manners? Headmaster, here, what could you oh. want? Greetings! I mean, out of my way, children. Professor, a word? Professor Black? Again, it is not too late to reconsider your decision regarding Quidditch. And funny enough, we, you don't have any on YouTube. We still have trials and a somewhat shortened why. season. <laughs> it would be better than none at all. But the injury, Madam Kogawa. Professor, more than one student has taken a bludger to the head on our pitch. I dare say I've got some <laughs> sense to do. And they are fine now. The fact that it happened to be a pure blood, well, that's no reason to... What? Nonsense. That you would trivialize the health of a student over a, a silly game. A silly game? I... You are quite impossible sometimes. Sir, I have a good mind to write to the Department of Magical Games and Sports at the Ministry about you. Good idea. I can even provide the parchment should you need it. Now, where is my elf? I... Parchment? Very well, I will, and with pleasure. And I spotted Scrope in the Great Hall. Seems to be avoiding me. Hmm, I wonder why. Good day, Madam Kagawa. But I think that the answer was fitting. What did we do to deserve him as a head? Uh, <clears throat> I wonder almost daily why I accepted this appointment from the Ministry. Yeah. Master, and we're, he's coming this way. We are playing quite good. When I witness what passes for magic in these halls, I... Professor, I need to speak to you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hello, Professor Black. Ah, Professor Weasley. How, how delightful to see you. Sir? Ah, uh, since I have you here, I wonder if I might um, speak with you about Professor Fig. Oh. Very well. I've decided to give him a bit more uh, leeway with his time. Leeway, Professor? Are you sure that's wise? I confess I do worry for his students. He's rarely here as it is. I realize that, and I'd like to <laughs> keep it that way. I see. But, sir, if I may, I am wary of how much time the new fifth year seems to be spending away from the castle, supposedly on Professor Fig's behalf. I've heard unsettling rumors of their escapades. Everything from sneaking into the Forbidden Forest to confronting Ranrock's loyalists and Rookwood's lot. Ah, what? Hmm. <clears throat> Goodness. Well, you cannot believe everything you hear, Professor. No, 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 you cannot. Uh, <clears throat> I mean, I shall keep an eye on Fig. You simply keep doing the wonderful job that you're doing. That was <laughs> too much. Simply wonderful. I... Well, I... Um, thank you. But I'm happy to look into... Uh, good, good. That'll be all, Weasley. I, I mean, Professor Weasley. Good day. <laughs> A wonderful job. Leeway for Professor Fig. I shall never understand that one. That ought to give Professor Fig some breathing room. Scope as hard a worker as any house elf. Ahem. Attention, students. I hereby decree that the Great Hall be forthwith <laughs> decorated in the dignified banners of Hufflepuff. I shall be taking no oh. questions at this time. Or ever. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, that, that was... I didn't know that this could happen. <laughs> oh, come on. It's not even a trophy. <laughs> How awesome is that? Scroop! Oh, greetings, Master. Remind me of the password to my office. Oh, but Master made Scroop swear never to tell anyone. Even Master himself. How dare you question me? I've a mind to give you a matching set of ears. Uh, uh, yes, sir. Uh, of course, sir. Uh, Scrope begs forgiveness. It is the Black Family motto, Master. Hmm. Right. Of course. I, uh... Master does remember it. I think the purity of blood... It's 
pure blood forever, isn't it? Uh, uh, close, Master. Uh, Scrope thinks Master is indeed testing Scrope. Uh, it is always pure. I don't know that from the movies. Obviously. And, of course, as Master knows, in French. Ah, yes, of course. Uh, I in order French? you to pronounce it for me. Oh, but Master knows that Scrope's French is most pitiful. Oh, uh, very well. Uh, toujours pure. Ha! Ah, thank you. Never speak of this conversation with me or anyone else. <laughs> of course, sir. Scrope shall try his best to keep out of Master's way. The polyjuice potion is wearing this. off. I best get out of sight. <laughs> okay, not the belching, but. That we have changed this to Hufflepuff. It's so freaking awesome. Ah, <sighs> made it just in time. It's wearing off. Fig was right. I can't believe it worked. Now to speak the password to the gargoyle. Rebellion. Mimic. I love this. This I really didn't know about that. Uh, better not. Am I? Okay. Oh, wait. I. Akio. I think I. Rebellion. Here. But I thought I saw something here. I mean, maybe Rebellion. it is the same, but. Huh. I just like this here. Oh. Ah, roll. This is really high up. <laughs> What are you up to now? Huh? Oh, I thought I already. Oh, nice. Goblet of fire. Look your water. Revelio. A war for excellence. Oh, nice. Nice, nice. It really is such a beautiful place to explore. I mean, it's a very big place to explore, but ah, okay, so we're here now. Okay, um, Rebellion. what is that? 
Okay, I guess I need... Ah, maybe like the for the sigils from the houses. Okay. Okay, before I go in there, I think I will end this episode here. Um, I want to thank you guys very much for watching. I hope I'll see all of you again when we will go for the Fitzgerald trial, the third one. So, bye-bye.